Anna, you're beautiful, smart, and fun. You must get a ton of fan mail, right? Oh, thanks, Andy. Sure. No, I've gotten one ever, but I was really proud of it. I'm going to frame it. It's a climate change problem, oh, Greg. Please. And we should educate our children about that. But I do think you have a good point, which is that a lot of kids will see this movie and then think polar bears are cute and cuddly, and mm. probably one child will be killed. Yeah. I, I think the teen birth rate, I don't think we should be so concerned, because teens are so fertile and so horny. Yes. I think it's amazing <laughs> that like 80% of them aren't pregnant at all times. I was just upset that Marky Mark's uh, Good Vibrations was only number 47, because I got the cassette tape in like sixth grade. Mm -hmm. He was the first man I ever thought about in that way, and I <laughs> still like him today. Uh, like, yeah. he wasn't caught having sex. He didn't have to plead guilty. All yeah. he did was tap his foot. He could have gotten out of it. And then he said he'd step down if the plea wasn't thrown out, and then he didn't. I just, I don't understand. Good career move, Anna Gillian? Um, it's a paycheck. I think anyone who has the patience to describe instructions over and over every day deserves one. <laughs> if you want to see me, I do a segment every Monday called Fast Check on FoxNews.com. I'm Anna Gilligan, and this is the Fast Track. The woman next to you is eating tuna fish again, and the guy down the hall keeps on taking your stapler. Your patience is dwindling, but is not your place to say something? You've done your holiday shopping for your friends and family, but you're stumped about what to give your coworkers. What can you buy them that's affordable and appropriate? Tis the season for the office holiday party. It's the annual event that can be a great networking opportunity, but it's also full of potential pitfalls. Let's find out what people on the street have to say about office pet peeves. If a coworker asked you for help with their work, what would you say? If I can help them, why not? What if you have to stay late to do it? How late? What's the dumbest thing you can do at an office holiday party? Bring at your drunk husband. Yeah. How often do you curse at work? All the time. Why do you curse at work? <laughs> Construction worker. <laughs> Don't talk to all my guys. Everybody curses. Can you give me an example? You want me to curse on TV? Sure. No, I can't. <laughs> Let's ask an expert. I'm here with Jennifer Starr from the Jennifer Group. It's a recruiting firm that specializes in placing administrative staff. I'm here with Pamela J. Holland from Brody Professional Development. So we're talking about office pet peeves today. You must know all about this. I do. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to go over a few common scenarios and how to handle it. I know you have to tread lightly if you want to give a gift to your boss. Um, what should you keep in mind if you're going to do that so it's not looked upon as you're trying to get favored? There's always the coworker that talks too loudly on the phone, is on speakerphone. It's very distracting. How do you handle it? You often hear of kind of debaucherous things that happen the day <laughs> no. following. Right. What should you do to keep from being the subject of those rumors? So Pamela, there was this new study that came out that says swearing in the workplace is actually a good thing because it builds camaraderie among colleagues and uh, it's a good way to let off some steam. Do you buy this study? This is Fox Business Now. I'm Anna Gilligan. Can manufacturers weather the storm caused by the housing slump and credit crunch? According to the latest report from the government, the answer is yes. President Bush heads north of the border to meet with leaders of Canada and Mexico, the third North American summit of his presidency. For more coverage, all things business, go to foxbusiness.com. And that's Fox Business Now. I'm Anna Gilligan.